Good morning to all my dear students. Welcome back to my class. In my previous class, I gave you a line by line explanation of the poem, The Road Not Taken. Today, I shall talk with you all about the central idea of the poem as well as what we learn from the poem. So, let's begin. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry, I could not travel both and be one traveller, long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Now see, here I have written two roads, choices in our life. Forest, which means the yellow wood. Future, which we can't see. So, here in this poem, the two roads that the poet talks about are the choices that come into our life. At times in our life, we come at a point where we come across various choices and we have to make a decision. So this is what the poet actually talks about in this poem. It's not literally about two roads. Is these two roads are actually the kind of choices that one comes across. Here, Robert Frost talks about his choice of profession. So, two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry I could not travel both. So, yellow wood was his future which he could not see clearly. And then there came two choices in front of him. One was to become a poet. And the other was to take up a profession which was taken by most of the people at that time. So, he was standing at that point of his life where he had to take a decision. He had to make one choice whether he wants to become a poet or he wants to take up a profession which other people during his time used to take up. So, he was in a confused state of mind. He was in a dilemma. What he should do? And sorry, I could not travel both. It was not possible for him to take both the professions. He cannot become a doctor as well as a poet at the same time. And be one traveller, long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. So what did he do? He was one person who could not take both the professions at the same time. So, and be one traveler, long I stood. Long I stood means he started analyzing. He took time to analyze the facts and figures about the profession and looked down as far as I could. What does it mean? He tried to find out as much information proper possible about both the choices that were standing in front of him to where it bent the undergrowth. As I told you, undergrowth means bushes which cover the road. And here undergrowth means he tried to see his future or he tried to find out the facts related to that profession or related to his choice of life as much as possible. It was not possible for him to find out the complete outcome. Nobody can sit to this, as, uh, say today what actually is going to happen in the future. We can just make an assumption. But we cannot exactly say that, okay, tomorrow this is what is going to happen with me. So that is the undergrowth. That is where his future was hidden. Then took the other just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted well, though as for the passing there had warned them really about the same. Then after a lot of speculations and although he was in a dilemma to choose which, you know, to choose one over the other, he finally took a decision to take up the profession or to uh, make the choice of doing something which was not done by many people. So he took up a, the road which was walked by less people. That means he made the choice which was 
not taken by most of the other people. He took a profession which was not chosen by maximum people. But perhaps it had a better claim. That means somewhere he believed that yes, if I take the, make this choice, there is something good that is going to happen because it was grassy and wanted there. So what did, what did it mean? He thought that until and unless I don't walk through this path, how will I know what is there lying in the end or what is there at the end of that road? Which means he, were, he had an adventurous nature. Okay, he wanted to know what was there on that road, what was there lying on the other end of the road or what would be the result of taking up this choice. So he, were, he had questions in his mind. He was inquisitive. He wanted to find out because many people did not take that choice. Now say for example, if somebody wants to become a doctor, it's quite clear to everybody what you need to do to become a doctor or what is the future of a doctor. Most of the people know about it, isn't it? But uh, Robert Frost, he became a poet at that particular period of time when many people were not poets. So he was not sure whether he would be successful or what kind of hard work he needs to do to become a good poet. So nothing was very much clear. But yet he wanted to experience that unknown. So he decided to take the road which was walked by less people. So this tells us that he was adventurous in nature. So because it was grassy and wanted there, though as for that, the passing there had warned them really about the same. Now it did not mean that nobody walked through that road or nobody became a poet. Nobody took that, nobody took that, uh, made that choice. But it was less in numbers. So yes, the, the first road which he took was less traveled, but not, it was not that nobody traveled at all. Or the decision that he took was, was taken by others also, although less in number. And both that morning equally lay, in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to me, I doubted if I should ever come back. So he took the first route and then he decided, thought that well, I'll go through that road and come back and take this road again. That was his thought. So he thought that, okay, let me first become a poet. Let me first make this choice. And once I'm done with it, I'll also take up the other profession or the other choice. But the second thought that came to his mind is, how will it be possible for me to come back? We all know that once we start doing something, that work or that activity will open up many new doors or will open up something new for us. So it is never possible for us to come back. If uh, like Robert Frost, he wanted to become a poet and for that, obviously he had to do a lot of studies. He had to do a lot of work to become a successful poet. So it was not possible for him to finish up that work come back and then take up another profession. So he, although he thought that he would try taking up both the ways, he very soon realized that this was not possible because once he started walking through this road or once he starts working on his decision, it will open up many new things for him and therefore it would not be possible for him to come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh Somewhere ages and ages hence, to roads diverge the wood and I, I took the one less travelled by and that has made all the difference. So now the sigh, I already explained you that day, means a long breath. So at that point of time, he did not know that he would become a famous poet in the future. He did. It was because of his hard work that till today we remember him as a very good poet and we all are reading his poems. But when he took that decision, at that time he did not know whether he would be successful in his, in his profession or not, whether his decision would bring success in his life or not. So he said that maybe years after I will take a long sigh, that sigh may be out of happiness and satisfaction or maybe out of regret. Why of happiness? 
because he would be happy if he can become a very successful poet people start liking his work then he will take a sigh of happiness and if he is not a good poet people don't um, appreciate his work then he will have to regret on his decision but one thing that is important in this poem is that whatever decision he took he stood strong into it he was stable he was sturdy he did not change his decision and therefore he could become a successful poet so i took the one less travel by after after years he said that there will be a time when i shall be saying that there was a time when i took the decision which is taken by very less people and that has made a difference in my life yes it brought a difference in his life he became a famous poet okay but we can if we take it in the other way suppose sir, sir, um, he would not have become a famous poet he would have regretted on his on his decision that he could not do what he wanted to or his decision did not make him successful so this is what actually lies underneath the poem this is the deeper meaning of the poem now what do we learn from this poem that it's with all of us now you as students will also come up at places where you will have to decide on certain things like when you finish up your 10th you will go for your further studies you have to decide what stream you have you want to take now you will you might want to take science you may want to take arts there are students who want to study arts but because of pressure they are not able to decide whether they want to take science or arts similarly it may be in your professions also professional um, life also whether you want to become a doctor or you want to become a singer so it's up it's hap it happens with all of us that we cannot exactly take a decision very quickly we need to think on it we need to do a lot of speculation but one and the most important thing is that whatever decision we take we need to stay strong we we should not let our mind change because when we think it changing our mind we cannot be successful and what the poet also wants to tell us that we should always try to do something new what everybody else does there is nothing new about it but when i do something that is different that will make a change in our life now it does not mean that you uh, you cannot uh, become a doctor because the other 100 of people are becoming a doctor or you cannot become a teacher because okay others so many people are teachers no even after being a teacher even after being a doctor which is a very common profession you can bring something new in your work you can put a new attitude in your work so whatever decision you make whatever choice you make what is more important is how much hard work you put into it so that will make a difference in your life now a quick uh, explanation of the title of the poem the road not taken so here the road not taken there are two ways of understanding the title first the road not taken represents the road which is not taken by most of the people and the poet took that road okay so that way also we can say that the road not taken here symbolizes the road the choice that was not taken or not made by others so the road not taken by other people was taken by the poet and the other way of looking at the title is the road not taken by the poet which was taken by other people so in both the cases you find that one road is not taken so it's never possible for any of us to take two decisions at the same time you cannot make two choices at the same time you always need to make one decision and stick on to it so that's why the road not taken the road not taken either by the poet or the road not taken by most of the other people in both the cases the title is appropriate so with that my dear students i end up this chapter i shall begin 
a new chapter in my next online classes till then stay healthy goodbye